All right, so I'm going to show the difference between searching for a video on Avid TV versus Skyfire. So this is really apples to oranges. We have an iPhone um, running Wi-Fi here, and this is a Sprint Moto Q running eVideo. Um, the Skyfire beta client is on this Sprint device. So just to show the user experience, let's just play around here. So if I go to Avid.tv, I'm going to search. Let's say I want to find my favorite Britney Spears video. So I'll type in Britney. And it's searching while I type. I want to find this video called Stronger. So it's searching. It's found this video on YouTube. So here it is. So if I um, press play, it will start to play the video and it'll stream the video directly from YouTube. So there's the Britney Spears video. Now if I'm over on Skyfire, this is a beta client only for Windows Mobile, so it doesn't work on iPhone or any other phone yet. And let's, oops, let's just say I'm, I've got the Skyfire browser loaded and I'm looking at YouTube. So as you can see, I, I can't really read anything on the screen. So what you do is you zoom in. So if I click, um, there's my little finder, so I can click around the screen, kind of like if I had a magnifying glass and I was looking around the desktop via a mobile phone. So if I zoom in on my search bar, so now it's getting a little more legible, and I can, there's the box, and I'll type in the same thing, Britney Spears, Britney Stronger, okay, so I'll go ahead and press search. So it's actually searching YouTube on the YouTube site. Um, now it's thinking about it. Oh, you know what? Maybe I didn't search there. I gotta go over here, and click search. So I have to tap over, and you can see how it adjusts each time I get to a part of the screen to try and be more legible. So now it's actually doing my search. Okay, so there's that video I want to see. So it's uh, the thumbnail is very small. Gotta click over to it. Okay, there it is. So now I can click on my thumbnail. The video will start playing uh, on a portion of the screen, so it's very small. I think it's about one inch by one inch there. And this is over EVDO. Now I've got the volume on mute because if I turn the volume on, it blasts. So there's no way to adjust the volume because Skyfire's taken over the scroll bars. So maybe that's a bug, I'm not sure. But in any case, all I can see is the small thumbnail there playing the video. And it's very small and it's, it's actually stuttering. It's very blotchy and stopping and starting. Uh, I think I can scroll and see the whole screen here. If I zoom in, right, so there's the video. And you can see there's lots of freezing and stuttering. So the quality is not very good. Um, and of course, if I go back to the video I was originally watching here, uh, the quality is much better in terms of streaming, so it's there's no freezing or stuttering. But really, Apple to Orange is a totally different experience, but um, this is one way to find a video and stream it directly from Avid TV, and this is using uh, the client of Skyfire.